students. You are once again welcome to Adjusia Online. Today we are going to take on vectors. Okay, that will be our topic for today. And when we talk about a vector, a vector is a quantity that has magnitude and direction. Okay, so if I have a vector a, okay, to be equal to x y, we are saying that. This vector A has a magnitude, and the magnitude can be found by the square root of x squared plus y squared. So if I have a vector A to be equal to x, y, the magnitude of A is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared, okay? Now, if we want to find the direction, we have to first find the angle at which we can find the bearing before we can calculate from the north and get the direction. So we are saying that if tan theta, okay, is equal to y over x, then our angle theta is equal to the tan inverse of y over x, okay? So with this, we can get the angle at which we can find um, on our OXY plane, we can get that angle and then we calculate the direction from the north. So we are going to learn how to find the magnitude and the direction when we are given a vector, okay? So assuming I have a vector A, I have a vector A to be equal to three, two, okay? And they asked me to find the magnitude, find the magnitude And direction of the following vectors, okay? So assuming I've been asked to find the magnitude and the direction of the vector A to be equal to 3, 2. First, I start by finding my magnitude. And the magnitude of A in my solution, my magnitude of A is equal to I put A in bars, which means magnitude is equal to the square root of 3 squared plus 2 squared, okay? Which will give me, I have square root of 9 plus 4, which is equal to the square root of 13. So the magnitude of A is equal to square root of 13 units, okay? Now with this, if I want to find my direction, first I need to find the angle first. So I go to my OXY plane, okay? When I draw my OXY plane, I know I have my positive x here, my negative x here, my positive y here, and then my negative y in this line. This is my origin zero. Now, this coordinate is standing in for x, okay? So this is my x, and this is my y. So the three is my x, and then the two is my y. So if I have three here, okay? This means I'm going to move three units to the right. So when I move three units to the right, because X is positive, so I'm moving in a positive direction. Okay, so this is three units. So let's assume from this point to this point is three units. Then my Y is also two, which is also positive, which means I'm going to move two units up, okay? So I move two units up, and then I join this to this. So I get my angle of 90, so this is two units. So this is my angle theta, okay? Now, we are going to use our trick functions to get what? This angle. Now you could see from this right angle to angle that this is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side. Like I said, tan theta is equal to y over x. Here is opposite, this is adjacent. So our tan theta, okay, is equal to opposite over adjacent, which is two over three. So our theta will be equal to the tan inverse. We want the angle, so we find a tan inverse of what? Two over three where theta will be equal to, the tan inverse of two over three will give us 33.69 degrees. Now, this is only giving us the angle, but if we want to calculate the direction, normally for you to get a direction, you always calculate from the north, okay? So if this is the north, this is the south, we have the east, and then we have the west. Now, if I want to calculate the direction, I calculate from the north. So from the north to this point, will be my direction, okay? Because this is where I have the three, two. This is the line. So now, if from this point to this point is 90 degrees, okay? From this point to this point is 90. 
and I have this angle as 33.69. It means my direction, okay, my direction at this point is equal to, we have the, um, we have 90 degrees here, so 90 minus, 90 degrees minus 33.69 degrees. So my direction now becomes, 90 minus 33 becomes 56.309 degrees. So in terms of magnitude and direction, our vector A, okay, is equal to, we have square root of 13 units, that's the magnitude, and then the direction is 0, 056.309 degrees. So this is the magnitude and direction of this vector A. Now let's pick another example. I mean, I've been given another vector. A vector B to be equal to negative 3, positive 2. Okay? As you mean, I've been asked to find the magnitude and direction of this vector. So in my solution, I first start by finding the magnitude of B. So the magnitude of B is equal to the square root of x squared, which is negative 3, all squared, plus y squared, which is 2 squared. So this will give me square root of 9 plus 4, which is the square root of 13 units. Okay? So this is giving me the magnitude. Then we go for the direction. So in this case, we draw our OXY plane again. So remember I told you we have our negative X, we have positive X, we have our Y, and we have our negative Y. That's our origin zero. Now, X is negative 3. Now, the X being negative 3 doesn't mean that X is actually negative 3. No. The negative is giving us the direction. Okay? So, because it is negative 3 and negative X is here, we are going to move 3 units, not to the right but this time to the left because we have negative x here so i move three units to the left so i have my three units here and then my y is two positive two positive two means i we go what upwards so we move two units up so when i move two units up this becomes two i join this to this this is my angle theta and this is my 90 degrees so with this i don't put negative three here no i put positive three because the negative is only giving us what? The direction. Now, we are going to find the angle theta, okay? So tan theta, we are going to say tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, which is two over three. And then our theta is equal to the tan inverse of two over three. So our angle theta is equal to the tan inverse of two over three is, so we have theta is equal to 33.7 degrees. Now, for us to get the direction, okay, like I said, for our direction, we always calculate from the north, okay? So from the north, we move clockwise direction, okay? We move clockwise direction. So from the north, I calculate my direction from this point all the way to this point, okay? Now, knowing that from this point to this point is 90, 180, 270, and this other to it is theta, it means my direction, in this case, my direction is equal to, we have 270 degrees plus theta. So we have 270 degrees plus the angle theta is 33.7 degrees. So this will give us 303.7 degrees. So it means that our magnitude and direction for the vector B, the vector B has magnitude square root of 13 units, and then a direction of 303.7 degrees. So this is the magnitude and direction of this vector. So I'm going to leave some two examples on the board so that you can try on your own and then you solve for the magnitude and direction of those vectors. So the next question is, if I have a vector C to be equal to negative three, negative two, calculate the magnitude and direction of this. And then number four, a vector D, equals to, I have three and negative two. So calculate the magnitude and direction of these two vectors, and then we continue with the class. Pa, 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 pa. Let's move on.